now in this video we're going to look at the RC time constant of a discharging capacitor right there. We're going to keep it charged until I open a switch which is actually just going to be removing a jumper. But in any case, well, we have a closed circuit, current will keep flowing through the resistor, the capacitor will stay charged to the supply voltage, and uh, we're going to use an oscilloscope to take a measurement. We're going to see that voltage hold steady. Once we open the switch, the capacitor is going to discharge through the resistor. And so it's going to charge really fast at first. We're going to get about 63% of the change in the first time constant. And so that's going to be about one second for both of these circuits. Up here we have one one thousandth of a farad or 1,000 microfarad. The same as a millifarad, but for some reason they just keep going to thousands of microfarads instead of millifarads. But in any case, that's one one thousandth of a farad times 1,000 ohms. You get one, one second, because time constants are in seconds right there when you do the formula so in about one second we're going to get 63 percent of the voltage change the next time constant we're going to get 63 percent of what is left and so on after about five of them we'll have the uh, total voltage change right there down here we're going to use 100 microfarad so that's one tenth the capacitance of that one up there but we're going to discharge it through 10 times the resistance right there so the formula still gives us one second. So here we are on the board, 1000 microfarad capacitor right there, it's polarized, make sure that side's towards the more negative side of the power supply and a resistor in parallel. And then we got a jumper keeping the capacitor uh, charged right there. The oscilloscope's not connected to the circuit yet. You can see we got the power supply set to five volts. The oscilloscope has a cable that comes out to these alligator clips. I clipped them to uh, jumpers and we're just going to move the jumpers uh, also parallel to the capacitor and resistor and you can see that it suddenly jumped up to 7 volts and now when I remove the uh, jumper we will see the uh, discharging RC time constant so this is dropping now last video we did it where it was rising and I'll try to pause it right when it gets to that line we got pretty close but in case you can see in about one second with these two values that we used we got about uh, somewhere around about 63% of the voltage change. And then again, about 63% what's left and so on. And after about five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, we are totally discharged. Now we have the 100 microfarad capacitor with 10,000 ohm resistor right there. So we'll also get a one second time constant right there approximately. And uh, there we go. You can see it's discharging and it curve looks the same as uh, I did with the other capacitor and uh, so I should have hit it a little bit sooner but uh, there you can see in any case about a second there we're about 63% uh, somewhere around about two-thirds of the way uh, discharged and uh, so on after about five of them we are completely discharged for the most part even though maybe a little bit of current is still trickling but in any case that's it for this video hope you enjoyed Make sure you check out the other videos I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. I have links down in the description. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.